But if somebody wants to get started, take that first baby step, what's something they could do in the next 24 hours to grow their capacity to take that sort of emotional risk in their leadership? I think I would really focus on the listening part and on the identity part of what I shared just now. So it's very unlikely that during the next 24 hours, you're not going to have, you know, a longer conversation with somebody. Mm -hmm. It might be a roommate, might be a team member, might be a family member, your spouse, you know, whichever. Mm -hmm. If it's an appropriate conversation, not all of them are, but it's highly likely that you can put yourself in this position of an interviewer and just mm -hmm. consciously focus on this skill of empathy. And I have this habit or I've had it uh, where, you know, I was just, it's this uh, scene in Fight Club where they say, you're not really listening. You're just waiting for your turn to speak. Uh, that's ingrained in a lot of us. <laughs> so once you catch yourself doing that, and instead of getting your turn to speak, you go with a question, an open question, a question that prompts the person to talk for so much longer and share so much more. And you ask yourself internally, well, how would I feel about that? I think that's mm -hmm. the very first step towards building that empathy, you know, battery, container, bucket, whatever we're going to call it. Uh, yeah. So that's what you can do in the next 24 hours. Just once you have the conversation, like insist on on listening actively, drawing out a little bit more. Once you feel like you've heard you know, quite a bit, share something from your end mm -hmm. that relates, but not in the way of it's my turn, but in a way of enhancing what you've heard and to continue the conversation to, right. to draw even, even more and, and to get to know them on a deeper level. And it's really surprising how, you know, you sit down with like one of your parents, for example, put yourself in that mode. And all of a sudden, so, such different questions come to your mind, questions about mm -hmm. their history, their mindset. I recently became a parent, you know, and, and immediately I felt like interviewing my parents about so many things. Like, how did you feel at that point? What did you do? What was going through your mind? How did you manage? It's such a deeper conversation. And the nice thing about it is it's not just a skill you're building, but it also mm -hmm. leads to just deep and satisfying connections with people. And that's what not just you know, our careers, but life is all about.